Hey everyone, Gage Ryan here, here to showcase my Eldritch stun deck for you guys today. So, I know that Eldritch is a little bit more of a meta deck, but it's right up my alley. It's the exact kind of deck that I like to play. Just a bunch of floodgates, really controlly. I mean, it's an anti-meta kind of strategy, even though it is more of a meta deck. But I've always enjoyed playing it. I played it off and on for a little while now, and so I figured I'd showcase my build today. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Started off, you got three Golden Lord. Uh, a lot of people in the OCG play three, and honestly, I agree with them. I think three is the best way to play, just for the fact that these do get banished every now and again, so it never hurts to have a third. You got three Border. My opinion, it's a staple in the main deck. I don't care what anyone says. This card is absolutely phenomenal. And I mean, you have this card on the board, it can win games by itself sometimes, especially with all your floodgates. And then you always side it out after game one. So that way they side in Imperm and Droplet and all these other cards that are useless in the, against the deck, except against Inspect Border. So you take it out and they're immediately in a disadvantage game two and three. It's it for monsters, spells, triple curse. Some people play two of this card. I don't understand it at all. Play three. Yeah, three extravagance and one duality. Uh, I love playing multiple dualities. It's just the deck list, the room is so tight. And then one black awakening. I will actually stand by this card just for the fact you can banish it and get more value out of it. And it's another way to get your golden lord to the board. Just sometimes in the grind game, it's good. And also for times where you don't have any other engine pieces, this card can be the difference. They have spells under the traps. You got 26 of them. You got three elixir. Uh, really good card. Artifact Sanctum. You guys know what it does. You got Triple Conquistador. Uh, two of this guy. Uh, honestly, like if someone were to, if I were to see a deck list where someone played one of this card, I wouldn't have like called them crazy. You know what I mean? But I still think you should probably play two. You know, it does have a good effect. It is another piece for your engine. So if you don't have any other pieces, this card can get you going. Uh, you know, and once you start having more pieces of the Eldritch Core, like you. you you don't really run out of them and you'll usually be able to grind the game out and so having two of this card can help with that you got your floodgates here triple skill drain pretty much my favorite trap of all time it's just fantastic yeah triple there can be um you know honestly if you wanted to play rivalry i'd understand that too i'm just messing around with there can be for now you got triple goes in great card obvious yeah triple solemn god says no is great it's never really bad to have this card in a deck with 26 traps so <laughs> You got Double Punishment. I want to play three, but right now just two. You got Double Strike, which is also good. Uh, you know, side it out between games two and three and whatnot, depending on if you're going first. All the standard stuff. You got one forever. Uh, honestly, like if someone played two, I actually would kind of understand that. But I actually replace that slot with a trap trick because trap trick is it's another copy of elixir more or less and i mean it's just it can reach for that extra piece to get your engine started which is something i've kind of been hammering home in this profile because it's warranted because the thing about this deck is you want to make sure that you don't have any bricks or you don't have any cards that like you don't have any hands that you have no engine pieces in and so trap trick can help with those so that's it for main onto the extra real quick you can just kind of uh, see the cards here. Honestly, guys, I never use my extra deck at all whatsoever, so it's really not all that important. On to the side deck, you got one Lord of the Heavenly Prison. A lot of people like two, they like three. I said it in my Trap Tricks profile, and I'll say it here. Just for some reason, this card hates me, and I always open two and three of it. So at some point, I just kind of broke down and said, screw it. If I'm going to play it, I'm just going to play one, and it works a lot better for me personally, so just one. Got two Lightning Storm, card's fantastic. Double Droplet, also great card. You got a Cosmic Cyclone in here. I just didn't feel comfortable not playing any copies of it, just it is a good card. Feather Duster, good staple. You got Triple Rivalry. And like I said, if you were to take out the There Can Bees and put Rivalries in, I would understand that too. Uh, it's just really good card, just shuts down a lot of decks, but I find that There Can Bees a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. You got Triple Evenly, which just, you play it against X deck, you usually auto win if this card resolves. Especially if you're able to make them go minus two, minus three, or something like that, and then put a skill drain or something on board, they're not getting around that. And then close it out with double iron wall, which, again, played against Flunder, played against X deck, it's usually an auto win. And it's also good against pot cards, like you play Extravagance and then go iron wall standby phase, so that way they can't play their Extravagances or Prosperities. So it's actually not that bad. <laughs> so that's it. Really hope you guys enjoyed the list. I know that my list is... Uh, kind of different, but I stand by it. I really like these spots. I love border. I love playing the there can be is all that fun stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. You guys know what to do, and I'll see you soon.